Hello everyone and welcome back to Stoneblock 3. Um, in the last episode, we did a few things. We did some pretty good stuff. Um, over in this direction, we, we <laughs> listen, we worked on the hammers again, but it was, um, it was pretty exciting. As you can see, these ones here look pretty similar, but these ones over here, we, we pimped them out with some compacting drawers. And what this allows for is it allows for the, um, processing of compressed, uh, blocks. Now, at the moment, as you can see, they're a little bit slow. The slow part at the moment is genuinely the cobble generation. Once one's generated, as you can potentially see here, I think, maybe. Yeah, yeah you can see. This stuff goes through and it processes genuinely an insane amount. It does, um, let's see how much. So, so we'll wait for this guy to finish and we should see it straight away. Um, where is it? About, about, about a snack. <laughs> maybe a little bit more at a time. Uh, but you can see in the, yeah, in, up the top. It, it does a lot. It does a lot. Um, so... Where am I going with this? Um, that's good, that's good. But we, we can make it a little bit better because at the moment we're waiting a long time for, um, I guess, the cobble. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. If we wanted to, we could lower this filter from being two times to one times until we get enough uh, cobble. But in, uh, either way, it doesn't matter. We're going to leave them, okay? <laughs> I swear we're going to leave them. This episode, chicken time, okay? So... How do we get started with chickens? Well, um, your first step is to get chickens. We've obviously gotten chickens from throwing eggs and the eggs we've gotten from the loot bees that spawn around the map. And of course, once you get some chickens, they start dropping things. Now this um, little hen house, it is meant to pick up the, the, the eggs. I had hay bales in it. The problem is, I don't know where I'm meant to put the hay bale. They go in every single slot here and I don't know which one they're meant to go into. All that the hen house thing says is... um. It will automatically collect items from chickens in a 9x9x9 nine by nine by nine radius when provided with hay bale. There's your hay bale. Pick up the egg. Like, if I drop egg, <laughs> I drop egg, where chicken? Hmm? Where, where? You get the idea. The thing's, I don't know, it doesn't really work. Or at least it's not working for me, I should say. So, what do we do? Well, there are other items that we should get that I um, have completely missed. So if we go over here, um, so in here is the chicken chaser. This is what we need, or, or the chicken catcher, I guess, so that we can chase chickens ourselves. And this will apparently turn chicken mobs into items. So we'll go ahead and do that. We obviously need eggs, and we just put some eggs away. Um, I don't remember what else it said we need, uh, but we have it bookmarked up here. Oh, it needs a feather and it needs a stick. A feather, you say? Hmm. I happen to know a guy who knows a guy who knows another guy who happens to know where we can get our hands on some feathers. Now, for the sake of our chicken kind, let's go ahead and do this. Um, and then I'll just ask that you guys look away for a second. All right, one of the chickens gave us a feather. That, that was pretty nice of it. Um, and obviously the sticks, that should be easily done. Yeah, we'll just grab some spruce out. Boom, 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 boom. Awesome. And oh, if we click the right thing, we have ourselves a chicken catcher. So while we're down here, I'll tell you what, we'll pick up a chicken. Um, sure. Oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> we're placing torches everywhere. Okay. So I, I guess it has to be a fully grown chicken. I wasn't too sure, but oh, maybe neither. Um, maybe I shift and do it. Huh. How do, how do you work? Um, let's look at this again can be used on chicken mobs to turn them into items. It says used, which insinuates right-clicking, but I have a feeling that I'm meant to hit the chicken with it. it it's it's possible that it's because I, I bred them recently. I'm going to hit it once. Okay, well, that... <laughs> it just sort of made it angry. It didn't, it didn't really do anything. Um, huh, what about in the offhand? Am I... No, not a clue. Not a clue what to do with the chicken catcher. Awesome. Um, great start to the series. <laughs> great start to the chicken series. Um, all right, well, well anyway, anyway, sure. Um, what's next in this in this uh, situation? We can claim our random reward. We got an ender chest. Oh, oh, we got oh, we got two of them. Honestly, pretty good. <laughs> genuinely, a very good loot drop. We'll put these to the side for now, but that is actually genuinely really good. Okay, okay, awesome, nice. I'll take it. Um, anyhow, what's next? A roost or a breeder? A roost will simulate chicken items, so the chickens that were meant to turn into items, um, as if they were mobs. Sure, we we can't do that yet. The breeder allows you to automatically breed chickens as items using seeds. We don't have chickens as items. Chicken catcher, used on chicken mobs, gets chickens. Chicken catcher, chicken mob. I don't know if you can hear the right. Let me turn my mouse off and on just in case it's not working. <laughs> like, I don't know what's happening. All right, my guess at the moment is that it's not allowed to have that breeding cooldown because I, I looked it up and it said you just use it on an adult chicken and it's meant to work. So we'll wait. We've got a what? 20 more seconds. 
And then we'll give this guy a right click and I guess we'll, we'll hope that something happens. Um, in terms of the other stuff here, so the breedery thing, this guy here, it just needs seeds and hay bales. Um, and the roost, if we look this guy up, um, this guy just needs hay bale and uh, planks as well. The reason I looked this up is just in case they needed eggs, because if they don't, then in theory, I can just sort of throw the eggs on the ground. Oh, but then again, we need the eggs to be able to craft more chickens, right? Hmm. Okay, well, uh, we'll hold on to the eggs. We, we might as well. Is this guy good to go now? He's fully grown. Not a clue. I'm, I'm mind blown. Mind blown. Not a clue what I'm meant to be doing here. Do I do I need this new chicken to grow up? Is that like the pro... Like... I, yeah, okay. I, I'm clearly missing something. This is, this is very upsetting. Okay, okay. Word on the street is it doesn't work on vanilla chickens. So this thing, useless to us. <laughs> For the foreseeable future, I, sure, whatever. Um, so, what do we do then? What is the point of these chickens? <laughs> well, I think I know what we want, and I believe it is this guy right here. At the moment, nether quartz is sort of our, um, our low point. We don't have much nether quartz. We, we sort of want more. So, I want to make a nether quartz chicken. I think it's a good place to start. In order to do that, we need an egg. We've got eggs. Um, we need nether quartz. Well, we, we can scrap together enough, I think. And then we need 21... Mechanical crafters. So these guys, what do they need? They need a crafting table, easy. Then they need brass casing and electron tube. The electron tube is essentially a little bit of paper, a little bit of sand, quartz and redstone. We have all that, that's all doable. The brass is actually only going to be copper and, t and zinc, which is easily doable, but it is gonna be in the smeltery, which means I do wanna get my hands on this uh, fire plow. Arguably, I also wanna get my hands on some dripstone. Which would probably mean like, you know, mining in the distance. I, I do want to do that. The problem is sort of just how long will that take? Do we want to do that this episode or do we want that to be a thing for a later episode? I, I think we'll do that later on. I think at the moment we'll just, we'll work with what we got <laughs> in terms of um, storing stuff. Um, where are the buckets? Did I use them? I must have used them. Okay. Uh, in that case, hmm, <laughs> what do I need to do here to, to pick everything up? Okay, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, it was brought to my attention something that I think we've been told before. I don't know if we were told it in-game or if we were told in the comments. Uh, but I think there's something to do with giving a book to the chicken. L listen, listen, I, I understand how this sounds. It sounds like I'm losing my mind. Um, I might be, I might be, but we're going to give a book to a chicken, whether it likes it or not. We're going to figure this out. Um, I believe we need some paper that should be easily done. We've got this guy over here. He grows pretty fast. Grab that. Awesome. So, paper, I, uh, do, 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 do. I think we can use wood to make a book, because I think, yeah, wood and slime, so we'll need a little bit of slime, but we actually have a decent amount, uh, if I recall correctly, yep, decent amount of that, so we grab that, beautiful, um, open this guy up, two patterns are needed, so we'll go ahead and craft this, and we'll create a book, beautiful, <laughs> the other pattern, um, we'll just go place them, uh, place him in there, why not, so, we have a book, we have a chicken, oh, <gasps> There we go. A smart chicken. Here he is. He's a genius. <laughs> now, this guy I can pick up. Hold on. Hold on. It's all coming together. Where's my chicken stick? <laughs> all right. Boom. Smart chicken. Here he is. Here he is. Look at him. Smart. Genius. So, I can click use on him. He drops eggs. And he lays eggs. <laughs> Beautiful. So, if we kill him, he, get, he drops an egg. If we just let him exist, he'll also uh, drop an egg. So... Next on the list um, is making all that other stuff, which should be pretty easy to do. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I wasn't sure if we'd be able to, you know, get some chicken stuff happening at least early on. What just, oh, I've got the elytra. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I don't really know where I'm going with what I'm saying. All I know is that uh, we're doing good. So let's go ahead and make this stuff. Um, first of all, uh, I think we want to make the roost. I think that'll be a good starting point. This will obviously be to, uh, I guess, just have the chicken passively generate stuff. So we'll chuck him down here. Open this up, chuck in the smart chicken. Oh, and it's a pretty fast loading bar. Okay, and, and you're telling me this will just create an egg in what looks to be maybe 20 seconds. Maybe, maybe not. Might have been a bit faster. How much is this again gonna get us? Wait, but yeah, it just gets us an egg. Incredible. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. I see what's happening here. So what we probably want to do Okay, we are playing on a server, I forgot to mention, so, so uh, stuff like that is bound to happen. Um, if it happens again, I go and yell at people, so 
Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Um, I need another slime ball. I'm going to make another chicken. Whether I actually make the chicken or whether I do a little bit of uh, magic to do it. Magic to do it? What am I saying? Um, I'm not too sure what I'm saying. What am I saying? What, what are we doing here? <laughs> um, make another chicken. Yeah. No. Um, I think what I was going to say is either I feed this guy a, a, a book... Or I um, throw eggs on the ground and get a chicken. But I don't think that gives you a full chicken. So I think we just want to give it... Oh, 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 oh. I think we just want to give it to this guy. If it'll let us. Yeah. Oh, and he fully grows. Look at that. Genius. Okay. So we pick this guy up. And then we can do two things. One is we can chuck him in there. So now there's two in there. You can't see him, but they're in there. And that's going to get us a lot of eggs. Um, the other option is... I grab myself a seed. We run over here. Open this guy up. Click on breeder. Craft another bit of plank, and we create a breeder. So, what does this guy do? Well, we can slap him down here. Why not? And inside of this guy, we can place seeds, two chickens, and allegedly another chicken arises. Um, and I believe it'll be a nice chicken as well. So, if we go in here, yeah, look. L let's see, does this take it to six? Oh, yeah, chicken galore. Um, so, we open this up. We put in... The seeds, uh, we, I imagine we can just do... Oh, actually, yeah, it should be... Hmm, what's it going to do here? We'll put two in, and then I'll place in my two chickens, like so. And they will breed. They're, oh, well, the cur <laughs> curtains are closed. No peeking. Their eyes only, um, we say as we check the whole perimeter. Um, so we'll let that happen, and I'll come back and see what we've got. We'll either have one new chicken, or we'll have two. I don't know if it uses two seeds or one seed. Um, does it say it in here? Not really. Okay, cool. So we'll let that do its thing. In the meantime, let's go do our stuff. By the way, you might be hearing a little bit. I am still a little bit, uh, what, what would you say? Um, nasally, I guess, uh, due to like hay fever and stuff. So I do apologize if that is annoying or disgusting or all of the above. Um, you're going to have to bear with me. I'll, I'll pause every so often and like, you know, clean my sinus. <laughs> no, but genuinely, I, I do apologize. So uh, hopefully it's not too bad. Okay, so what are we doing here? Um, well, I would like to make my brass. So we'll need some copper, which uh, we can probably grab out raw copper. And we will need zinc. Uh, oh, yeah, zinc or nickel. I think we want zinc. That might be a problem. I thought it wasn't a problem, but that's because I thought zinc was nickel. Oh, hold on. I think in this millstone, I think this guy uh, makes this. Yeah, oh, plenty of zinc. Now, this stuff, I believe, does a one-to-one -one ratio. So inside here, what do we have? We have four by one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got like what? 24 spots, maybe? If that's a math, I think it is. So we can do 12 in each, and that sounds pretty good. So we'll do boom, boom, boom. And then we'll do the same for this. Um, the other thing to note is we do have some golden here. Um, one block, three ingots. I'll tell you what, we'll pour out a block. Uh, I mean, we can probably afford what, what we need to do here. Maybe, actually, you know what? We might not be able to. I think we used it. Uh, I don't know if we have stuff lying around. Um, well, what I'm sort of humming and ahhing about is uh, whether I just void this extra gold. I think I do. I don't, I don't think it's worth the hassle, um, to be honest with you. Um, we could leave it in. The problem is molten gold uh, alloys with... And we'll have a look through here. If it doesn't alloy with what we're using, it alloys with copper to make rose gold. So we kind of don't really want to do that. Um, so I'm just going to pour it into here and then just pick this guy up and essentially just void this stuff. So a little bit of a waste, but I mean, we've got infinite gold, so it doesn't matter too much. Um, then we will chuck copper and zinc in. They will fill up. Oh, we obviously need the uh, the fuel as well. Because um, this guy, yeah, he's ran out, so that's cooling down. Yeah. Um, for that, obviously we need some iron. So let's go ahead and craft all of that. Open this guy up. Uh... We've got one of these. What I might do is try and attempt to fill this guy up. Um, because that doesn't seem like a bad idea. <laughs> so we've got our, you know, our fire plow. We'll come over here uh, somewhere and we'll do that. Um, if I keep lagging, someone is going to get yelled at. <laughs> I'm saying the threat to myself as if, like, as if they can hear me right now. Um, I, they can feel it, though. They know. All right, so lava. And I should be able to place it in this tank. And then I should be able to pick the tank up. And yeah, it keeps the lava in it. So we've essentially got like a massive lava tank, right? Essentially, that's what this is. So I can then go here and just keep uh, picking stuff up. Alrighty. So we've got our lava here. We can pick this up, uh, fill up the tank. And that should get the uh, the stuff flowing in here. 
Chuck that all in there. Beautiful. So this will smelt it all. Um, two buckets and 900. Awesome. We obviously got this all smelting. So this will make it a decent amount of brass. And then we pretty much just want to cast all that stuff. And that should be pretty good. Um, so, where are we? Um, oh. oh, yep. It's all casted together. Beautiful. Or oh, casted? Alloyed. <laughs> I, I, know, I know the terminology, I play the game, I know what I'm doing. Um, the next thing we'll need is, for the brass casing, I think it's, yeah, just another strip log with uh, the stuff on it. So, here's where it gets a little bit tricky. To make this chicken, we need 21. So we need at least 21 uh, logs. So, we should probably go ahead and uh, at, at least get that. Uh, we might have enough in terms of, uh, like, oak, maybe? Uh, not quite. So, so we need more anyway, so we might as well just, uh, just farm it. Um, in terms of farming this stuff, by the way, Realistically, botany pots are phenomenal. We should be using them um, for a number of reasons. One is botany pot. They're not too expensive. Terracotta, clay, easy. Um, and then what? And then a hopper. And you have a hopper, hopper botany pot. And the cool part is, if I take this out and put this in, it will literally grow the tree and harvest it automatically in here. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, for now, I'll tell you what, we're probably gonna leave that guy and let him do his thing. Uh, we can check on the chickens. Oh, yeah, we did get two, so we got one for- oh, that's awesome. Oh, and hold on. And they've, uh, they've bred. As in, like, their- their stats have gone up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's begun. Um, sure. Sure. I'm gonna chuck these guys back in here. Uh, you know what? Before we do that, I wanna chuck them in here. Now, these don't stack. Um, but the one we put in there, uh, you know what? This one's better. Three growth, two gain, and three strength. For starters, it looks like it's happening faster. That's definitely nowhere near 20 seconds. I'd say that's like 10 seconds, if not less. And we get one chicken or, or one egg. I don't know if that's consistent. I don't know if it'll if we'll get more each time. But as you can see, it's it's definitely a lot faster, which is which is always beautiful. Um, yeah, another egg. Cool. So we took this guy back in. I just realized they look really cool in your hand. Um, at least in first person. Yeah, they look pretty cool. Um, so we'll chuck the, both of these guys in here. Oh, we'll chuck. <laughs> I almost sound like I made a chicken noise. Um, the rest of these chickens can go in here for now. And the other thing I keep forgetting is these wheat seeds, or, or these wheat, sorry, they turn into seeds. So we can go ahead and grab more of these seeds and put them back in there. So I'm going to keep doing two at a time. I think that's probably a good amount. So we'll keep doing that. I guess there's room for three. Maybe we should do three. So I'll do three, okay? And we can come back and check in on that every so often and see how it's doing. How's this guy done? Yeah, he's got enough some logs. I mean, it's pretty good, I guess. Do we want to... I, I mean, we probably want to just plant some some trees. It'll, it'll genuinely be so much faster. Um, so we'll do that. Get this stuff growing. All right, 25 spruce logs. That is more than enough. So I think we're good, good in my boots. Um, so we'll run over here. Uh, open you up. Beautiful. Pour you in. Wonderful. <laughs> so we've got brass coming in now. So we'll grab that. We'll grab th uh, this and then we'll get started. So how do we get started? Well, for starters, <laughs> we go ahead and place down 21 of these. So we'll go ahead and put uh, four over there and we'll just place down all of these. That'll probably make it uh, nice and simple. Boom, 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 boom. Then we want to go ahead and uh, strip them all. Now you're going to have to do that uh, just normally. I, I tried to ulti mine it. Sadly, that is not a thing. So we'll go through here. Oh, do all that. Beautiful. So these are all stripped. Then I'm pretty sure you just go, yeah, and you just right click with it. Um, can you ulti right click them? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, but you can just do it normally, which is pretty cool. So we can grab that out, pour another one. Awesome. We're, we're going to get as much of this brass out as we can. Um, but as you can see, we don't need too much. <laughs> I, th I think we're actually good. How much is left in? Five ingots. We'll probably end up avoiding that. Uh, uh, we can actually chuck in a little bit. I believe if I chuck in what? Two of each. I think we're good. Uh, yeah, I think that should make it make enough. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> um, anyhow, we have the last brass and there we go. Here we have it. We have 21 brass casings. Now these guys will, oh, they actually create three each. So we, we did not need that much. It doesn't matter. It's the more the merrier, as they say. Um, what we will need though is quartz, at least some. This is probably plenty for now. We will definitely want more in the future though. So I should look in our, uh, sand department and start, uh, you know, cooking up some more if we can. But yeah, another thing we'll need is actually some paper. So we'll go ahead and uh, get this stuff grown and grab some paper. Um, and we actually do want to combine that with sand because we want to make sandpaper to combine with our nether quartz. Now, uh, to make three of these, it's this. So we essentially what? We want to, we want seven uh, electron tubes. So that's going to be seven uh, quartz. 
surrounded by redstone. So we can take these out. That gives us rose quartz. Perfect. We can run back through here. Um, we need a little bit of sand, so we will go and hunt down some more sand. Boom. I think this is how you do it. You just craft these together, and you get sandpaper. Beautiful. Chuck uh, one or the other in the offhand, and as you can see, you can just mine this. Now, uh, to put it in your offhand, by the way, it's F by default on your keyboard to like switch things in and out of your offhand. Um, but then you just essentially polish all these with your sandpaper, smooth out all the edges, and you get exactly what you need. Seven polished rose quartz. Beautiful. So, from here, uh, we can open this guy up. What are we after? Um, we want electron tubes. So that's actually going to need uh, seven iron sheets as well. We have the iron on us. We still have to manually press our sheets, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, we'll go here. Seven. Drop that under, hopefully. Um, oh, and actually, I sort of lied. We don't have to, as you can see. And can I... Hmm, hold on. I might be... Yeah, look. I, I can actually spin this guy a little bit faster. A stick. I tried to quit tree school, but they said I couldn't leaf. They... They said he couldn't leaf. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, what? Yeah, okay. Normal sticks. Um, anyhow, uh, we'll keep pressing this stuff. Is that all of them? I don't think it is, but we'll keep going. In fact, I think it stops pressing when there's uh, nothing to press, right? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, nothing to press. It's done. Wonderful. That is our seven iron sheets. We can chuck those in there with the polished quartz to get our electron tubes. I think we've got them. I think uh, the inventory is just lagging a little bit. Um, and from there, do we need to do anything? I think we just put it all together. Oh, crafting tables. Uh, once again, we only need seven of these. So we'll go ahead and uh, limit ourselves. We don't need more. Seven crafting tables. Beautiful. And voila, 21 mechanical crafters. <laughs> now, can I place these guys like this? No, they have, to, they have to face the direction. What this means is we need a decently tall room to put these in. Um, and obviously they'll need some sort of rotational energy, which, ugh, you know, blah. Um, to be honest, we can probably slap it, I'm thinking, like, right there. Because, I mean, chicken area, we're going to be making chickens. Why not? Um, uh, I guess there's a good reason why not, and it's that it's kind of awkward to do. Because I, I kind of want it reachable, so I guess I've got to break this, which I kind of feel bad about. I don't want to break the whole pillar, just enough to place our uh, mechanical crafters. I think that should be fine. Um, and then, the actual shape of this stuff is what? Yeah, three. I, I, okay, I can do this. So, we'll have one here. And then we want to place these guys into it. So see how I'm like right clicking into it? Ah, you know what? Uh, that'll be fine. I think uh, uh, someone's probably crashed it. They can't help themselves. Um, but what I was going to say was um, we'll probably make these slabs into stairs, right? So that we can have a better view of it. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happened. Alrighty, some slight technical difficulties, but nothing that uh, a little bit of, uh, I don't know, patience didn't fix. Um, but yeah, what we're going to do is probably rip this up. Get the spruce slabs ready, break this, and then I think I can just get away with placing them uh, like that. And I think that'll look pretty nice. Because then we can have our crafter there, we can have these guys attached, and we're essentially going to have this shape going the whole way through. So having them like uh, connect all downwards. Um, now we can't fly, which makes this a little bit trickier, but in the grand scheme of things, I think it's the same. So we'll have this guy go up again, this guy go here, and then one more up. And that's the general idea here. Oh, we've got a visitor. <laughs> we'll have to keep an eye on him. I mean, he should be fine. He should be fine over there. Um, do this, do that, do this, and finally, do this. Awesome. Uh, we can go ahead and light this area up again, just to make sure that we're still safe. Make sure it's yeah, all lit up. Um, so, here's our crafter. Now, this guy does need rotational energy of some sort. I've heard that a water wheel is good enough, so we'll probably try and do that. We have some large cogwheels on us, I guess. I I've heard four. Like that we need four uh, large cogwheels. So we can probably arrange such an event to take place. <laughs> we'll see what we've got. Uh, we've got small ones lying around. Uh, we have some shafts. They'll be used to make some bigger ones. Um, so yeah, I, I think we're good. Do we have slabs in here? We do. We've got, well, yeah, we've got a decent amount. Awesome. Uh, we, can, we, can, we can work with this. Uh, oh God, why did this happen? All right, so yeah, anyway. Um, larger cogwheels, we can make, oh, we can make at least one more. Uh, it looks like we need a few more uh, planks for this. Do that, do that. So that's four of them, beautiful. These will all turn into water wheels like so. And then we have water wheels, cool. <laughs> that was pretty easy. Um, so these guys, we need to connect to this. So what we'll probably do is get ourselves a um, small cogwheel, which we've got lying around here. Um, obviously we'll need water to, we'll spin the water wheels. Um, but I'm thinking it'll probably just be like this. And we'll have the water wheels here, 
like so. Um, probably the other way around. I don't really know the easiest way to do that though. I guess placing it like this will do the trick. So there we go, all four water wheels. Um, in order to make them, well, I guess work, <laughs> we need to dig a little bit down here and a little bit under here. And I think that's good enough, but we can probably dig there. You can't see, but look at the tool tip at the top. We are digging stone back there. It's, it's obviously pretty tricky to see, but it, it is happening. It is definitely happening. Um, so yeah, as you can see down here, beautiful. The next thing we want to do is obviously cover up uh, some spots. So for example, We'll grab all this stuff out. Um, we probably want to cover that up. That should be fine. Maybe we'll place like that there just to, I don't know, tidy it up a bit. And then place this here. Why not? Uh, actually, it's on a slab, isn't it? Yeah, so we'll place it here with a slab on top. <laughs> and then, I don't know, stairs. Oh, no, that didn't really work. Okay, hold on. We place stairs here with a slab there. There we go. Perfectly hidden. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so we'll grab some buckets of water now. Um... It's going to be a little bit tedious. Uh, no, no, not really. I guess I just grabbed two buckets and we've got infinite over there. Um, but yeah, this should hopefully uh, power the guy and get it all running. So uh, what this is going to look like, I'll probably just place it. Uh, probably not all there, to be honest. Like probably the better option is to place them like place them uh, on the actual cogwheel is what I'm trying to do. <laughs> it's really, yeah, there we go. That's where I want to place them. Um, so we'll have to, I guess, keep an eye on things. Um, we also lost a water wheel and I don't know how to get it. There we go. All right, we'll get all the water placed before we, uh, place the cogwheel. Because they, they struggle a little bit when they're trying to push something that they physically can't, I believe. Um, that they sort of have a little bit of a, I don't know, an issue with that. Which I guess makes sense. We'll go ahead and place that there. Uh, actually, we will place this one here. And is that going to make an infinite? No, it's not. Okay, well, we'll place it there then. <laughs> Okay, I also moved the cogwheel um, up here. That way it just like blocks in the water for when we place it there. Awesome. So I believe if I place this on here, the entire thing spins and we have motion in the mechanical crafter. So what is next? You might be wondering. Well, we're going to get ourselves a nether quartz chicken. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We need nether quartz for that. We don't have any nether quartz. Why don't we have nether quartz? What's on this? Scoria. Why is Scoria on here? Scoria's on here because... Oh no, this guy's not full. He's got no excuse. I don't know why there's Scoria on there. But there was Scoria on there. Sure. Okay. It happens. Um, are you still set up to extract? Yep. Soul sand allowed. All sides. It is low extraction. I'll tell you what. Do we have any... Um, yeah, we have a medium extraction here. Uh, we most definitely don't need a medium there. So we're going to go ahead and take that guy out. Take this guy out. Go ahead and put that guy in. And then go ahead and... Uh, Maybe put this guy in there. Is that going to do fine? He's saying soul sand allowed. I kind of just want to have the opposite where it's like just dust, right? I want to open this up, click this and say you're allowed dust. And then I'm actually just going to go ahead and put the dust on there. Yeah. And then this guy um, is going to be the opposite. He's going to be soul sand allowed. And then we're going to pick this up. Yeah, cool. Okay. And then I think we just wait. Um, and the issue at the moment is... I don't know what the issue is. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, it shouldn't be full. Stuff should be able to flow. This stuff has extraction modules. But it's just not doing it. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, I might just break this and, like, replace it and see if that somehow kicks everything into gears. Because it's not really... I don't know. It's just not really doing it. This kept its filters, so that should be fine. It looks like... It looks like it's working now, maybe. I think it just picked up a bunch of junk that it didn't need. Yeah, a bunch of dust. But aside from... Oh, yeah, it's still picking up stuff. Uh, are you set correctly? Yeah, modular storage not allowed. That side is allowed. Um, oh, hold on. I need to do that, right? Huh? <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're good now. We're good now. I think I was blocking the stuff from going in there. So now I, I, I changed uh, this guy to be depot. And now it seems to be working. Um, this guy... I don't think you're meant to have dust on you. I'll be honest, buddy. I think you're meant to have sand. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. I've got this stuff uh, flowing a little bit better. We should have a little bit of quartz. Is that enough? Ten? We need for the nether quartz... Ugh, more than ten. Okay, well, we need a little bit more. Ah, quartz. Surely enough. <laughs> if not, it's fine. We'll at least start placing it so that we can figure out how much we need. Um, to be honest, I think 20 is perfect because if there's 21 crafters... And we need to use all of it but the middle, where an egg goes. 
Then we need 20. Um, so I think we actually have the perfect amount. Um, not intentionally, but we'll do it nonetheless. Um, so the egg will place last. The rest of these are going to be quartz, which is going to be placed around just like so. Um, and then in these bits and then an egg in the middle. And as you can see, it begins crafting. Now, if you make this faster, it'll spin faster. Uh, but it also uses more stress, which we can't see at the moment. You can make a, a pair of goggles that let you see the stress, but it's fine. This is this is fast enough for me. I'm, ha I'm happy with what I'm seeing. And we should have ourselves, once this connects, as you can see, a quartz chicken egg. Or I guess in this case, the entire thing. Um, so there he is. Our nether quartz chicken. He looks pretty cool. We can bring him down here. We can open this guy up. And we can chuck him in. And he will generate some stuff. We'll see what he generates. Down here, we've got some uh, smarter chickens. Uh, ooh, a growth of five. These chickens are good. Let's grab all these chickens out. Grab our uh, five and four chickens and chuck those in there to, to continue upgrading. Um, this nether quartz chicken gets us a nether quartz. Nice. I mean, he does a pretty good job. What I am curious about... Uh, how does the breeding work with these? Okay, so it does exist. Like, I can combine these with other chickens to get, like, glass or glowstone and stuff. I imagine I can't use it uh, on a normal chicken. As in, like, I can't just do this. I, I imagine. Um, we'll grab some seeds out. Or in this case, um, you know, like, two bits of wheat. I, I guess we're going to do, do, what, three? Right? We're going to do three each time. Um, so, if I chuck this in here. Oh, something's going to happen. So if I take one out, nothing happened. Okay. Yeah, we're... <laughs> Listen, we're about to get something here. I, Not a clue. Not sure what it is. But we're going to get it. We're going to get it. Um, very exciting. In the meantime, because we might get a really cool uh, quest reward that could help us along. Um, let's go ahead and redeem some. And we're pretty much at the end of the episode too. Uh, another singularity tank. Another... Uh, what? Five of them? Eight of them? Jeez. Um, what do we get from this guy? The roost. Uh, bacon. We got bacon before. We got a little bit more. Sure. Um, craftable chicken. Yep, I, yeah, we got a craftable chicken. Um, oh, we get a straw. The one who codes. The straw. Cool. <laughs> sure, sure, we have the straw. Can you do anything? I don't know, but we've got it. Um, what next do we have? Create, we made the mechanical crafter. Boom. We got an enchanted book with silk touch. I think we already got one, but hey, the more the merrier. Oh, and we got a nether quartz chicken. Hold on. Take out the smart chicken, put this one in. What I was curious about was whether the uh, perks from this smart chicken would carry over to the nether quartz chicken. But it didn't look like it did. So that's... I mean, it's fine. You know, it's not the end of the world. Um, what we probably do need, though, is like an actual chicken chest. Because, I don't know, we can't keep storing our chickens there. <laughs> I mean, we can, but like, we probably shouldn't. Um, we'll put the straw away. We'll put the enchanted book away. Put the boots away. Put this away. Yeah, we're looking good. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, we're, we're literally, we're in the chicken game now. <laughs> we want to just be breeding chickens, and we want to be making sure they're better, and then eventually we want, we want to get more chickens. So at the moment, my main thing is getting a bunch of quartz. I want this guy to be just pumping out quartz to the point where it's like, yeah, we're, we're, I don't even want to have to wait, because at the moment, these like level one chickens, they're probably good enough. You can probably just wait, you know what I mean? Here, we'll go and uh, swap one of these out, just to put like a better one in, because I imagine, I imagine it helps. Um, so that should be good. We'll let them do its thing. Once again, we pretty much just want like infinite wheat. Which reminds me, this guy's been left here for a little while. I mean, he's doing a good job. Let's, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Uh, next episode. Most likely next episode, we're probably go, going to go on like a, a botany adventure. Where we just make a bunch of botany pots. Um, we'll probably have to make a room for it. We could even just do this like long hallway. This is the chance cube hallway, which we will be going down uh, in, a, in a little bit now. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It was just a thought because I, I want that stuff, but I also want obviously more seeds for more chickens. So it's like, uh, I, don't, I don't really know what we need to do here. Um, see, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure. But anyhow, we got ourselves a pretty good chicken. Awesome. Let's, uh, switch these chickens out. So these are both tier one chickens. One, one. Awesome. And then we have some pretty good chickens. Yep. Let's let them do their thing. The rest of these chickens can go, um... They should be able to go in here. The problem is they don't stack because one's like a crafted chicken, one's not. It's fine. Um, we'll put these away for now in here, I guess. Is there a chicken chest? There must be a chicken chest. Like, just a, just a spot to put all my chickens. I don't think there is. I don't think we have a chicken chest. Um, yeah, 9 by 9 radius room provided with hay bales. Collects items from chickens. I'm very curious. 
Can I put the chickens in here? Is that what is that what happens? I don't. <laughs> not a clue. Yeah, nothing's moving. Nothing's insinuating that it's going to work. Not a clue. Anyhow, what did you spit out? Um, an even better chicken? Sure. Wonderful. Oh, and you see that? I swapped it out and the percentage bar kept moving. So it is worth uh, keeping open. Um, this chicken, however, can go in here. He should be a little bit faster. Yeah, he looks a little bit faster. Cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is literally my life. I won't do probably like any of this off camera because it is sort of like... Um, I, I could probably take like half an hour and just like max out these chickens, but... If it's tedious, it, it sort of, it should be tedious. You know what I mean? We should figure out a way to automate it in, in that case. So we will stick to doing stuff uh, on camera as much as we can. Um, it's also, I like, guess, nice to see. Look at this guy. Yeah, visually, pretty fun mod. I like it. What was that? Well, that, that was this guy making some nether quartz, right? Um, all right, I, I just want to do this one last one and then we'll, we'll, we'll go do our chance stuff. Um, what did you get us? Uh, pretty good chicken. We'll go ahead and swap you out. No, nope, we'll swap you out like that. There we go. So what do we have? Five and four, four and all that. Cool. And then you're not that good of a chicken compared to you. So you can go in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyhow. Um, so we'll let that do its thing. We've obviously got some more seeds in there. Beautiful. Um, let's go ahead and do some chance cubes. We'll go ahead and empty our inventory of the stuff that we can. Um, and the stuff that we can't will be coming with us. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and craft ourselves. We'll do five again. I think five was a nice number. Five blocks of lapis lazuli. And then we'll grab uh, some more out. And we'll surround these five blocks with more lapis lazuli. And we will have ourselves five chance cubes. And then I will meet you guys <laughs> at the end of this hallway. Okay, so as per usual, we will go in. And I think it's fun if we open all five over here. Even if we get something amazing. I, to be fair, like I, there's not much of a risk in this mod pack because I'm pretty sure there's like gravestones, I, I think. Um, but regardless, we're going to stick with it. We're going to open all five. First one that we open. Oh, I was going to say, haha, he's stuck in a wall. But then little Leonidas um, is actually, I can't even see. Oh, he's actually doing pretty good. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Little Leonidas has, uh, has been conquered. <laughs> to say the least. Um, all right. Sure, sure, sure. We're, we're fine. We're fine. A few more Leonidas. We can take them. Um, let's see. Chance cube number two. Oh, oh, no. Little Firefox. Wait, are you good? I think he is good. I think he was just suffocating. I think this is genuinely a little Firefox. Is he tame to me? No. Oh, he's got fire resistance. Oh. Oh, is it? Is it? Why is he so fast? Um, oh, okay. Okay. We need snowberries if we want to tame them. I kind of want, I want to tame him. Snowberries. Uh, is that what they're called? Uh, I know they're called berries, right? Sweet berries. Uh, how do we get... Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Sweet berries. Apple in a mana pool. It's doable. We... Uh, you know, it's on the table. This isn't too difficult to get. Oh, I thought he just died. I was like, no. Okay, yeah. Yeah, cool. I'll... We'll work on it. I don't know if that tames them. I think you have to breed a, a wolf to tame it. Uh, or, or a fox, sorry. Is there... When fed to a tamed wolf? When fed to a tamed mount? Is there some sort of trick to taming this guy? L let me know. Let me know if you know of a way to uh, make this guy my, my pet. Um, I mean, I guess he's got nowhere to go. So he's kind of just my pet regardless, right? Like, he's just going to run around the joint having a blast. Hopefully he just doesn't get in our way and we should be good. Um, we, could, we could make a room for him, maybe. I don't think he'll set my house on fire. I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good. He'll, he'll find his own way. He's doing stuff over there. All right. Third chance cube. Loot. We will take it. Okay. We got gold. We got gold. We got gold. We got gold. We'll take it. Beautiful. Wonderful. You'll love to see it. <laughs> All right. Our fourth chance cube. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not a, not bad. There's nine of them. I'm going to ulti mine all of them up right now. You can see the loading bar at the top of the screen, or I guess the um, the destruction bar, I guess you would call it. So we're almost done. Give it a few seconds. And voila. Cool. Nine obsidian. Don't mind if I do. Um, the fifth. The fifth and last chance cube of today. <laughs> I, I like doing this. I don't know why we're being really covered. Hopefully he doesn't die from it. Um, boom. Oh, another one of these. Another... Uh, end crystal. Okay. We can't really do anything with it. If I hit it, it blows up. 
that's all it really does. So, um, cool. We've got one. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, whoa. Oh, look at us. Oh, anyhow. Anyhow. <laughs> this helmet, by the way, it's, it's stuck on us from a chance cube. Um, anyhow, that's it for the chance cubes. Thank you guys for watching. That was a pretty successful trip as well. We, we came out with some goodies. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I think we got a little bit done. Uh, the, the chicken stuff. Yeah. The chickens are, they're pretty good. I, I will say I can't wait to at least attempt to automate this stuff because it does sound uh, pretty exciting. Our base, in terms of looks, we do need to work on stuff. For example, all this area here, we definitely, we want that to be water. Um, so we're going to have to dig that out at some point and make that all water and, and, and link up some stuff. That'll be good. These walls, we need to figure out what we're doing for. We need to, I don't know, figure out what we're doing for the walls. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think we're doing pretty good. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm excited about the chicken. The the chickens are pretty fun. They're like the seeds, but I guess it's different enough that I'm excited for them. Um, in here, what do we get? Oh, they're going to keep breeding. Five, five. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What What is the best we got here? We have, bear with me, um, three, four, four, not, not good. Four, five, four, maybe good. Five, five, six, instantly better than this guy. So this guy's not good. He can sit up there. Um, four, five, five. Not as good. He can go over there. And then 555. Five. Not as good. So obviously now we want to be breeding these two. Yeah, seems pretty good. And, and for reference, I guess we'll grab this uh, 555 five, five and put this guy in here. Uh, look at the speed difference. He's pretty good. Does he still only make one at a time? I don't know if that ever gets more. He makes two. Ha ha. <laughs> I don't know why I did a little ha ha. Oh, but he makes two. Sure. These will make three. Because they can stack. Because they're the exact same uh, quality. And it's possible they make two at a time. Yeah, we should get six at a time. That's pretty good. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, we want to max these guys out so that we have the best uh, best production possible. But that's it for now. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Um, and I will probably see you guys. Um, or hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you as well. But big thank you for supporting the series. Um, I, I will say as well, the thumbnails, I think they look a lot better now that we have like torches everywhere. And I think as well, because I updated the brightness to full. I think I think if you look at the thumbnails for this series so far, it's like dark, dark, dark. And then it's like, oh, okay. Stuff's actually happening in this picture. So um, that's good. That's good to see. Um, hopefully you guys are li liking it. It looks like you guys are. Um, a little bit of roasting of me happens in the, uh, in the, the, what do you call it? Uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? <laughs> in the comments. Yes. Most of it's, oh, sorry. I accidentally started playing a channel trailer. Um, but I, you know, it's, it's a little bit to be expected. Um, obviously starting these series, I'll, I'll tell you, th this has been a pretty good start to the, like, th this has genuinely been a pretty good uh, start to the series in terms of everything. That's, that's even with spending five episodes on the one topic, you know, like, uh, the starts of these series are really rough because I kind of want to, I want to rush resources, but then it's like, there's, I get sidetracked by so many different things. So much stuff happens. Um, and, and yeah, we, we make like a mess and then it's like, oh, I need to fix this. And then we don't do anything. Um, this has been pretty good. <laughs> this has been a pretty good start. Um, all things considered. So, uh, so thank you guys for that. Thank you for uh, sticking by. Um, we are of course hosting a server. Um, feel free to join the discord to join the server. Um, you just link it up. It, sh it should be pretty straightforward. Um, and yeah, don't, don't break stuff. <laughs> um, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.